Hello everyone, welcome to TeachTech. In this video, I am going to show you how to install Ubuntu operating system in VirtualBox. For that, we have to install VirtualBox software and we need to have a Ubuntu image file. You can go to this link to download VirtualBox for any operating system, Windows or Mac OS or Linux or Solaris. You can go to this link for downloading Ubuntu desktop operating system. I have given this link on the description box as well. So by clicking on Windows host, you can download this file. I have already downloaded the file, so I am going to cancel it. Similarly, you can click on this download button and download the Ubuntu operating system. I have already downloaded the file, so I am going to cancel it. Now first, let's install VirtualBox software. Click on run. Next. Next. These are default setting, so there is no any changes to be made. Click on next. Click on yes. Install. It is going to install Oracle VirtualBox 6.1.12 version. It is going to take some time. I'm going to pause the screen and let us meet after a few minutes. Would you like to install this device software? Click on install. Click on finish. VirtualBox installation has been completed. Now let us run the VirtualBox and install Ubuntu operating system inside the VirtualBox. Click on start. Source for Oracle VM VirtualBox. Here it is. So run it. Now this VirtualBox software allows us to install operating system in a virtual environment. We also call it as hypervisor technology. In this technology, you have a base operating system called as host and the virtual operating system called as guest. The minimum requirement for your computer systems is 2 GB RAM and 10 GB of hard disk space for installing virtual operating systems inside VirtualBox. VirtualBox is an open source and a free tool that allows us to install virtual operating system. VMware is also an alternative to VirtualBox. Now let's go to install Ubuntu operating system. Click on new. Give the name to the operating system Ubuntu. The type is Linux and the version is Ubuntu 64 bit. If you are not seeing the 64 bit option, then you have to enable the virtualization technology from BIOS. I'm going to show that process on the next video. This is the machine folder where our virtual hard drive is being created. Click on next. This shows the memory amount of RAM which is allocated to the virtual machine. If you select the RAM beyond this green line, then it might affect the performance of your computer system. So I'm going to give 2 GB RAM. That means the amount is 2048 MB. Click on next. Create a virtual hard disk now is the default setting. So we should not have to make any changes. Click on create. The hard disk file type will be VirtualBox disk image. So you can select dynamically allocated. Click on next. This is the amount of hard drive. So the 10 GB is recommended. So I'm going to keep it. Click on create. The virtual machine has been created. But till now we have not linked this virtual machine with the operating system image file. For that, click on setting. Go to storage. Click on empty and click on this small icon where you have to choose a disk file. Now select the file that you have downloaded of Ubuntu. Click on 
click on OK, click on Start to run the installation process. Yes, this is the image file. Click on Start. This is going to take a few long time, so I'm going to fast forward all these minor steps. If you want to go to full screen, click on View, full screen mode. You can come back to normal screen mode by pressing right control plus F. Now you have to click on install Ubuntu. You can try Ubuntu without making any changes to your computer from this image. So for that you have to click on try Ubuntu. But we are going to actually install this operating system. So for that go to install Ubuntu. This is the default keyboard layout, so I'm not going to make any change. I'm going to set the keyboard layout as English US. Click on continue. What apps would you like to install to start with? So I'm going to start with minimal installation because I do not have to need all these applications in my virtual OS. And also I'm not going to download any updates while installing Ubuntu. Click on continue. If you want to have all the utilities of his software's games and media players, you can go with normal installation. Click on continue. If you are going to install in a virtual environment, you can click on erase disk and install Ubuntu. Since it is going to only erase the virtual hard disk. That's why it is not going to have any effect on our real hard drive operating systems file. But if you are installing it as a host operating system, then erasing disk and installing Ubuntu might clear out all the files in your hard disk. So you have to keep that in thing in your mind. Click on install now. This is the hard drive information. Click on continue. Choose your location. My location is Kathmandu. So continue. Now fill up all these details. Give the password. Click on continue. This will take some time. So I'm going to fast forward this screen. As we can see Ubuntu has already started so click on this skip button if you want to set up all these you can set up but I don't want any setup right now these are a lot of softwares that we can install in our Ubuntu operating system Click on done. So this is our Ubuntu operating system that has been already installed. It is asking for updating. I will install it later. So let us go to full screen once again. Right control plus F switch. Okay. So these are the files where you can see all the hard drive files. This is similar to the my computer in our Windows operating system. Now to turn off this operating system, simply go to this drop down and click on power off. You can also close the operating system directly by clicking on this close button. Click on power off and click on OK. So our operating system has been shut down. In this way, you have to install Ubuntu operating system or any virtual operating system in VirtualBox. Thanks for watching.